Let's send it back out to our play-by-play -play team, Ryan Rugo and Richard Jefferson, and their post-game thoughts. Well, thanks a lot, Nancy. What an incredible game. Wild second half. The Nets in this game, they were down 24 at one point towards the end of the second quarter. But at the half, they're down 75-54. They end up putting up 40 in the fourth. They outscore Phoenix 40-24 to in the fourth, 74-49 to in the second half. And, Richard, we talked about it at the beginning of the third quarter. This looked like one of those games where, you know, it's second half of back-to-back. -back. You don't have to rant. You don't have Kyrie. You're playing a team that's won six straight. Okay, maybe it's just not going to be your night. Look that way early. But the Nets turned it on defensively in the second half, and that really gave them an opportunity to come back in this game. Ryan, we, and we know the exact play. It was that transition play that led to a timeout. Uh, players were talking about it. it was a lack of effort. We actually broke it down. Steve Nash calls a timeout, gets the guy there. There were some conversations amongst coaches and players and players to players, and then they stepped up their defense. I stand by this statement. If the Brooklyn Nets are 100% healthy and they play quality defense, they are going to be a finals team. Whether it's a conference finals or an NBA finals, they're going to make it to one of those finals and so tonight was one of those examples they played great defense against a great team and make no mistake this wasn't some 18-0 run it wasn't one of those Chris Paul hit huge shots down the stretch three pull up making plays so it was a battle back and forth this just wasn't the wheels falling off for the Phoenix Suns but the defense for the Brooklyn Nets was really and truly the difference maker I think that's probably the most interesting part of the comeback Richard that the Nets had made up so much ground had cut it to two and then had to watch Chris Paul go on this ridiculous streak and yet they were able to answer as Paul is scoring 11 points in three minutes the Nets are scoring as well and it was James Harden who was orchestrating it Harden tonight 38 points 11 assists 14 of 22 from the floor Richard what did you like most about Harden's performance this evening what I liked about it is that he kept his calm, right? He was a leader out on the floor. I love seeing Kevin Durant. I love seeing Kyrie out there encouraging their teammates, talking to guys, communicating what ha future Hall of Famers, these type of guys, that's what they are. They see the game differently. So to have them out on the floor contributing and James Harden staying calm, he was the leader. We talked about it. Are, is he going to score and spoon feed guys? Well, other guys contributed. Jeff Green, Tyler Johnson, Landry Shamit. We can't talk enough about the defense that Landry Shamit played at the end of the game on Devin Booker. It was literally textbook perfect defense. Uh, no doubt about it, Richard. We saw that from Shamit who made Massive contributions. Tyler Johnson in his first start ends up with 17 points. Joe Harris with 22. And I think that's, you know, it's sort of a combination of encouraging factors, right, Richard? Because we know how good the Nets are at the top with their big three. But now seeing some of the other rotation pieces start to come into form and seeing that when there is a focus and an effort on the defensive end, that can be enough for this team to to win games like this where once again they're beating a plus 500 team one of the teams with the best one of the best records in the NBA and understand the Brooklyn Nets know exactly what they need to become a better team. And you want to know how they know? You can see by the people that they're bringing in. You bring in Andre Roberson. You bring in uh, Amon Shumpert. These are guys that are defensive-minded players. They are trying to shore up their defense. And it is a great place to be. And when you know that if you can just up your defense from a mid-20s uh, you know, kind of range to get to that 15, 12, 13 spot, if they can get to that type of defense efficiency, I don't see many teams being able to stop them, especially with this bench starting to get their rhythm. Well, an incredibly memorable game in Phoenix tonight. The Nets overcome a 24-point deficit. They put up 40 in the fourth quarter, and they win it 128 to 124, a fourth straight victory for Brooklyn as we send it back to you in the studio, Nancy.